What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? It is March 4th. It is about oh, 8 o'clock in the morning, a.m. And uh, we are just walking around right now. We just had some breakfast. So we are at Bazorn Park, Dumaguete City, Philippines. It is a nice day today. Yeah, they've really been doing some a lot of work on this park. My God, they got this place really looking nice. They replaced all the bricks. This is all bricks now. This used to be all dirt and grass. Well, it looks like they're taking down the Christmas tree finally. Here it is, March. They got this building looking really nice. Yeah, it's early today, so we are waiting for everything to open up. Agnes is over sitting, waiting. Now we got the watchtower there, as you can see across the street. That is an iconic monument here in Dumaguete City. You see that, that monument right there in a lot of different videos, a lot of different photographs. the Roman Catholic Church directly across the street. Cuzorn Park, Dumaguete City. Not a lot of traffic out yet. Not as of yet. There will be. You know, I miss not bringing the motorcycle down here today, not being able to travel to and from areas. So today, we at the mercy of the public transportation, all the tricycles, buses. That's one thing they do not have here is taxis. There is no taxi cabs here in Dumaguete. Yeah, there's two different Jollibees. You got a Jollibees here and they got a Jollibees about two blocks down on the same side of the road. There's Unit Top. It's not open as of yet. Usually they're open early. I wonder what's going on today. Now you got the public market down that road, Holy Child Church, or a hospital, I mean. 
Got V Plaza right down there on the left hand side of the road. Now we got tops and bottoms right here. This is a pretty good store. They got a lot of good clothing in there. I just and I hadn't been there in a long, long time. Oh my god. You know something? I just noticed something. They removed all the outdoor tables that used to be outside right here. There is no more tables outside here. They have removed them. Wow. Yeah, there used to be like six tables right here. Right here in this little area. You know, I hadn't eaten at this McDonald's in it's been a long time. Okay guys, we have to head over there towards immigration here in a few minutes. We're gonna go take care of all the paperwork I have to do. Uh, we're still trying to get the 13A all processed. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it here. And uh, getting it done in Cebu is a real pain in the butt because if I have to happen to go over to Cebu, uh, we're gonna have to sit over in quarantine for 15 days. And I don't like the sound of that at all. That doesn't sound any good at all, sitting in, in a quarantine for 15 days. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still hard here in, on Negro. We've been locked down here for over a year now, about, well, about 14 months, 15 months. No, 14 months exactly. We've been locked down. Uh, I'll be glad when all of this is said and done. They have a, a, a vaccine here. It's a Chinese vaccine. And there's a lot of fake vaccines here in uh, the Philippines. Nobody knows what's what. I personally don't trust anything here. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do it. I need to call the American Embassy and try to figure out if I can go ahead and get a uh, Pfizer or uh, uh, what's the other one, Moderna. I'd like to have one of those, one of those that are certified that I know that is good. As far as getting one from anybody here in the Philippines, that's not gonna happen for me. I'm not going to trust anything here in the Philippines. Um, but anyway, guys, um, we're going to head over towards the uh, immigration. And we will catch you guys on the very next video. Peace out.